Hi, welcome to lesson 12.2, Views of Solids. So yesterday, yesterday we talked about what the solids' names actually were. Today we're going, going to talk about how you can view the solids from the top, looking down at them, from the side, and from the front. So let's talk about that today. Go ahead and write down your learning goals. Pause this video and when you're done, you can turn it back on. So write all of these down. Our learning goals today are to identify different views of solids. Then we're going to know that the shape of a solid can sometimes be determined by am analyzing different views of the solid from the front, from the side, and from the top. Here's an explanation. When we're looking at solids, uh, we want to find out how can you get information about a solid by viewing it from different perspectives. So what do the different views of this stack of cubes look like? So we have the front view, which is this in the beige color. So if we're drawing this, we'd want to draw three squares down and then four squares across. One, two, three, four. If we're looking at it from the side view, we're looking at the green part. So we can see one, two, three across and then two up, or one, two, three across, across and then one, two, three up. And then if we're looking at the top view, we're looking at the blue faces. So we have one, two, three, four across the top, and then one, two, three going down. And this is what it would look like. So there would be your front view, here would be your side view, and here would be your top view. So let's practice. Here's your practice problem number one. Sketch the top, the front, top, and side views of this figure. So the front's going to be this way, this way, and this way. The top is going to be this, 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 and this. And then the side is going to be this shape, this, this shape, this shape, this shape, and this shape. Go ahead and draw, which, draw a little column for front, a little column for top, and a little column for side. Go ahead and pause this video, draw your figures, and then when you think you have the right answer, turn it back on. Let's look at this. Did you draw this for the front, this for the side, and this for the top? That's what you should have. If so, give yourself a pat on the back. If not, make your corrections, and let's move on. Okay, here we have practice problem number two. Sketch the front, top, and side views of the following figure. So here we have the front, here, we have the side, and here, here, and here are the top. Go ahead and sketch what you think that would look like. Make a column, front, top, side. Pause this video, and when you think you have the right answer, let's move on. Let's check. Did you write this? Here's the front, here's the side, here's the top. If so, give yourself a pat on the back. If not, make your corrections, and we'll move on. All right, here's our practice problem number three. Sketch the front, top, and side views of the following figure. So here we have the front. Here we have the side. And here, here, and here we have the top. Make your columns front, top, side. Draw your sketches. And let's check them. Did you say this? Here's your, here's your front view. Here is your side view, and there was your top view. If so, great job. Give yourself a pat on the back. If not, make your corrections, and we'll move on. All right, here's your challenge problem. How many blocks are not visible from the top view? So let's imagine that you are looking down on this shape. Here is here's a, side, a face you can see. Here's 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 a face you can see. What can't you see from the top view? Come tomorrow with your answer. See you there.